Have you ever crossed over a big bridge and wondered how the heck they made that? I mean, think about it. There are those tall whatchamacallits holding up the road with cable thingies attached. And don't forget that many old bridges were built using old world engineering developed centuries ago. Well, now some basics of the bridge building biz are getting a lot of buzz because the bridges themselves are being built by what's buzzing. But there are a few strings attached. Drones are no longer just for things like flying and taking cool videos. A team of researchers in Switzerland are using drones to build rope bridges capable of withstanding the weight of a human. I spoke with Federico Algoliato, the lead researcher on the project from Zurich, Switzerland. Well, hello, Federico. Thank you for joining us. Hi, Matt. Thanks for having me here. Federico, what inspired this idea for these flying machines to build a rope bridge? Uh, together with uh, our colleague at the architecture department, we were exploring aerial construction, so a structure that can be built by drone. Then the idea came, uh, okay, why not use uh, ropes? Well, other than the scaffolding, which was put in place by humans, the rope bridge is all built by drones, which are controlled by computers. The right loop configuration in the knots increases friction, which makes the ropes capable of holding very strong loads. So how do the drones know where to go? We have uh, cameras that observe the environment and locate the flying machines in space. Uh, this information is then sent uh, to a computer that can compute uh, what the vehicle should do. The computer knows how to direct the drones based on carefully calculated algorithms that were developed by Federico and his colleagues over the course of several years. For tying a knot, the first thing uh, we had to do was having a way of uh, deploying ropes while flying. And for doing that, we keep these vehicles with a motorized pull. In this way, we can control the tension applied to the rope while we are actually deploying it. Engineers plug in the right measurements between the points on the scaffolding and tell the drones what specific knots to tie and where. Then the drones do their thing. Weaving nearly 400 feet of rope along a 24-foot-long bridge takes the drone about eight minutes. What was the goal of using drones to do this job? So the, the original idea was to explore aerial construction, so try to see what these machines can do. With that, we want to try to push the limits of these little robots and demonstrate what is possible. Now that Federico and his team have proved that the drone construction concept can work, they're exploring real-world applications for their idea. Innovation on a shoestring, building bridges to the future.